Hi all, so today I'll be telling you how to find the output for the loop questions given in your IP board. We'll be solving a few questions here, like the first question here says write the output of the following code. This question involves for loop in this. As you know that the for loop has initialization, conditional increment in the one line. Initially y is 0, x starts from 1, goes up to 5 and increments x by 1 every time. Inside this we have the statement y is equal to x plus plus. Since no curly brackets are mentioned, so only this statement will be the one which will be repeated again and again. This statement will be taken outside the loop. So we have this one to be repeated with the loop. Now if I show you the working for this, how would it work? As you saw that x is initially 1 and the condition is checked that it is less than equal to 5 or not, it is true. When it is true, we have to perform this statement. Now this involves a post increment statement in this. y is equal to x plus plus means that first value of x should be assigned to y and later on x should increase by 1. So y becomes 1 but x becomes 2. If it would have been plus plus x, so first x will become 2 and y will also be assigned with 2 but it's not the scene. Here it's y is equal to x plus plus. So y becomes 1, x becomes 2. And because of the increment, x becomes 3. So it increases twice, 1 because of the statement. And again, because of the increment part. So we check now whether the new value of x, which is 3, is less than equal to 5 or not. Yes, it is. It is true. Again, this statement will be executed. And once the statement executes, x is right now 3 which assigns to y and after the assignment x increases and becomes 4 and then again plus plus x will make x as 5. We go for the next iteration it checks whether 5 is less than equal to 5 or not true it will again perform the statement as per that y becomes 5 and x becomes 6. Now since x becomes 6 here so the increment statement will make x as 7 Again, the same condition will be checked. If 7 less than equal to 5, no, this is false. So none of the further statements will be executed. We come out of the loop. After coming out of the loop, there is statement minus minus y, which makes y as 4 because the last value we assigned to y is 5. So this will make y as 4. So we've got y as 4. That's it. So final value of x is 7 and y is 4. I hope you understand how it works.